Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Chef Ken. This is Ken the Kitchen and today I'm going to be doing a special breakfast recipe, an authentic style Mexican breakfast dish. We're talking about chilaquiles. All right, so let's look at the ingredients for this dish. We're going to start off with some tomatillos and we're going to use some poblano and an Anaheim pepper. I chose Anaheim over serrano because I don't like the serrano peppers. Um, white onion, some garlic, I have some chicken bouillon, we have some sour cream, some Mexican crema, and some chicken broth, and the cheese I'm going to use is cotija, uh, queso fresco, and Oaxaca. We also have a little bit of cilantro and some lime to throw into this dish, and I'm going to be using the um, white corn tortillas. We're gonna make our own chips for this dish. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and prepare the garlic for roasting. I'm gonna put it in the oven alongside of the peppers. And as you see, I'm using my handy dandy little tool here to take off the little papery shell that's on each one of these garlic cloves. It works pretty well. Just rolling it along the you know cut board and it takes off every little bit of that, mostly. Sometimes you have to trim off a little. And I'm just going to go ahead and put each one of these cloves in a little bit of aluminum foil, wrap it all up, and then I'll be able to get roasted. Okay, I'm going to grab my two poblano peppers and my Anaheim pepper, and it's time to go ahead and get them in the oven. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and get these tortillas cut up, and we're going to do this while the oven is roasting the peppers and the garlic. We're just going to make good use of time. We're going to multitask here to get a few things done at once. So I'm going to cut these tortillas in half. I'm going to do one side in thirds and one side uh, in half again, and these this is a total of eight tortillas right here. Okay, it looks like the oil is starting to shimmer, so it might be hot enough. Let's go ahead and get one of these pieces of tortilla and put it in the oil and see if the oil is ready. And yes, it is. Looks like the oil is ready to go. So let's go ahead and get the, uh, the first batch of these tortillas in here to make our chips so we can get started on this dish. Okay, so as you can see, it looks like these are nice and golden brown and delicious. It's time to get them out and put them on a paper plate with a paper towel so they can drain off the grease a little bit and get the rest of these chips cooked. All right, so I went ahead and chopped up a whole onion, but I'm only going to use half of it. I'm going to put half of the onion in the blender with all the things, and I'm going to put half of the onion in with the tomatillos when I cook those so it gives them all the flavor. Okay, these have been cooking now for a few minutes and I think they're ready. I think they're they're nice and they're starting to get translucent. They picked up flavor from, you know, the salt and pepper. So I'm going to go ahead and take these out and we're going to cook the next component, which in my chilaquiles, I actually add chicken. So let's get started. Okay, it looks like these peppers are ready to come out. Yes, those look nice. We'll let those cool off for a bit and then we will uh, take out the seeds and membranes and 
get on with the rest of the recipe. Okay, so while the chicken is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and get the tomatillos. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and peel them, just like you see, and I'm going to rinse them off so they don't have any of that sticky stuff that's on them. And then I'm going to get the pot boiling. As soon as I do, I'm going to add in the half of the onion, the peppers, and the tomatillos. And we're going to cook them for about 10 minutes, and these are going to change color. And you want to make sure these don't split. If they split, they get a little bitter, so you want to keep an eye on that too. All right, let's get going. All right, now I got the water boiling. Let's get the other stuff in. Okay, so now we're gonna put everything in the blender. I have one and a half cups of chicken broth. And one tablespoon, I'm gonna start with one tablespoon of the um, chicken bouillon. There we go, close enough. And our other half of the onion. one of our poblanos. There's the other one. And there's the Anaheim and our tomatillos. And as you can see, these did change color, but that's okay. They're supposed to. Okay, so now we're just going to get this until it looks like it's very nice and blended all together. And then we're going to put it back on the stove top. All right, so I almost forgot to put in the uh, garlic and the cilantro. So let me get that done. And I did have roasted garlic, but I roasted it a little too long. So we're going to do fresh pressed garlic for this one. And we're going to get this to be nice and blended and really smooth. Okay, so now that everything has been blended up, I'm going to go ahead and add it back into the skillet because we want to thicken it up a little bit. I'm also going to add in the shredded chicken and I'm going to add in some Oaxaca cheese and I'm going to get that to melt in there. Okay, and here I'm going to add the Oaxaca cheese. Now, I actually added about three times this amount in addition to what's in here now. It just, when it melted, it just didn't seem like there was enough, and I want it to be cheesy, and I love the cheesy goodness. Okay, so I have on the plate some refried beans, and I've already went ahead and plated up the chilaquiles with some chips, and this is some queso fresco cheese I'm going to top it with.
Okay, and this right here is just a little garnish, just a little bit of leftover um, cilantro. And here's some Mexican crema. It's basically like heavy cream, but it's it's really yummy. I'm just gonna you know top it off with this. And here's a little bit of lime zest just to finish the dish off, make it look nice, and it smells amazing. I love lime zest. All right, as you can see, my plate is clean. I ate it all. This is a great recipe. I have my recipe in the description below. It shows all the ingredients and the method. I want you guys to take a look and give it a try. Tell me what you think. Or have you had an experience with chilaquiles? Have you made it for someone? Has somebody made it for you? Tell me in the comments below. My name is Chef Ken. This is Ken in the Kitchen. I have another video here for you to check out. Another one in the link in the description below. And I have more stuff coming. I have a big thing on the horizon. So stay tuned.